Hi, Sven from Webini here, and today I want to talk to you about the uh, Page Builder Blocks feature, which is a new feature that we just launched. Um, let's just dive right into it. So you'll find the new Blocks section under the main menu. Uh, there you can manage your blocks and your categories. Um, categories are just a, a way to organize your blocks. Um, you can give a category a label, a name, and some uh, description. Uh, but the, the main functionality I want to show you today is under the blocks section. Um, <clears throat> so here, if I click on any of the blocks, uh, you'll be able to see which blocks I currently have in the system. Um, in short, blocks are small uh, building blocks uh, that you use to build your pages. The idea is that you create a library of those uh, building blocks and uh, your users can then use them to build their pages in less time. Um, there's a bit more to the blocks. Uh, so for example, let's let's edit one block to uh, demo that. Um, here, I'm in the block editor. It looks very similar to the standard page builder editor uh, with just a few little differences, which is you can only have one block uh, and everything you do is within that single block, right? Now, with the page builder blocks, the idea is that you build yourself a block, right? And then you use it on other, uh, on, in other pages to, uh, to build content, right? So here I have a simple block and uh, I want to add, let's say, a background uh, image to it uh, just to make it a bit more visually appealing. Uh, let's use this background image. And um, I want my users, right, to use this block in multiple places but I don't want them to be able to change the block visually, but I do want them to be able to say, change the, these two headings and this image, but not this paragraph, neither the background image, neither the grid or any of the dimensions, paddings or margins, right? So I wanna give them a limited set of options on what they can change. Uh, to do that, while I'm in the block editor, so let me just move this here, uh, I'll select the elements that I want to allow them to be able to change. So that will be this upper heading. So under element, I will click link element and uh, let's call this upper heading. And uh, then let's click on this heading and let's call this one the lower heading. So it's good always to give users some indication on what is the element that they are changing. Uh, so giving some nice descriptions always helps, right? Uh, in this case, having an image uh, is pretty okay because that's the only image that the user sees on the screen, right? So with that, I wanna save my changes to this block. When I press the save button, there's a couple of interesting things we do under the hood. Uh, we look for pages that already have this block and position the new edited version of that block within those pages. So depending on if you have one page or 5,000 pages, this operation might, might take a few seconds, right? Um, now that I have my block um, and in here I have multiple blocks, right? Uh, so I'll use some of those blocks just to demonstrate how quickly I can build a new page using the, the pre-made blocks, which is the, essentially the main goal of, the, of, those, uh, of those blocks, right? So let's create a new page. We'll just leave it as untitled and let's start creating, right? So I'm going to use the blocks from this category. Uh, let's start with this block as my heading block, uh, then on the that one I want to add, let's say this block that I just changed um, and let's add a few more. So a form so people can subscribe and uh, let's add some features. And lastly, let's add a, an FAQ, right? So I've got my page here and I can already preview it. So as you can see, I've built this page within just a few seconds. Looks pretty good, everything is there and looking really good actually, right? So the gist is that I've used the pre-made blocks to build that and I've stayed within the 
uh, visual standard of my organization. I didn't deviate from that. And I even if I wanted to make some changes, you can see here, I'm actually locked from making those changes, right? Uh, so I can just use this blocks block as it is. Now, there is still a way for me to make changes, which is by clicking this button unlink block. What this does is it it removes that link between this block and the source block in the, the blocks section. And it creates a local copy of the elements that this block contains within this page. And then it allows me to change those elements, right? This is used in certain situations when you really do need to make a change that are a one-off, right? Um, however, this is an option that is exposed under the user security role. So if you have a user account that doesn't allow you to unlink a block, this option wouldn't be available uh, to you and you would just need to stay within the boundaries of the block and you can't deviate from that, right? But remember this block that I uh, made some edits to? So if I select this block, you can see here that I have my upper, lower heading and the image. So I have those elements that the block is exposing to me uh, in order for me to be able to change them, right? But under the style, I can't change anything. So I can't change the padding, the paddings, the margins, and all, all, all other stuff like the background image, right? But I can change these. So let's have, let's make some changes to it. Um, be the last to know. As I type, you can see immediately that the value from the input is shown within the right element. Uh, this is cool, right? And um, say I want to change the image as well. Um, let's find some image. Let's use this one, right? And there you go. I made some changes, but only within the boundaries that the block uh, allowed me to, right? So I can't change anything else. And again, if you just click the preview, the rendering engine will render the, the new page and we can immediately preview our, our new block, right? Now, let's say that we go and make some changes to this block, right? Let's say we change the background image or change some paddings or margins, so whatever, right? But let's say we've changed the background image, right? And now we can ch save our changes. So the changes are being saved. And if I now go back to the page that I was editing, you can see here that I've inherited the visual changes from the original block because I haven't broken that link, but my adjustments to the block, to the block's content still remained. Uh, this way uh, you can have certain elements that are inside the block that are being inherited by a lot of pages. And if you wanna make a change across many sites, you just change that block and all of the other sites, all of the other pages will just inherit it, right? Making it another really useful way uh, for when to use blocks, right? So um, I'll end it here. So I hope you enjoyed the session. Uh, we put in quite a lot of effort into building this feature. So we'll really love it if you have any feedback that you would like to share or any suggestions on how we can make this even better in the future. So until the next one, uh, thank you and have a great day. Bye.